Instead of using the table though, you use Grog's knee. Okay. You just run, jump onto his knee with one foot, leap off, <laughs> blade in the air, go for the strike. That's cool. Come on, come That's on. Cool. Come on. Come you can on. do it, Scanlan. What do I add? Your attack bonus. Attack bonus for your weapon. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> It is never used. Uh, okay, it's a plus seven. Yeah, so. 15. <laughs> As you rush in the air, you hesitate for a moment, remembering the pipe thing, and you see this burning arcane rage in the face of this entity. At that moment, that hesitation was all needed. It takes the, the, the shield and almost knocks the weapon out of your hand. You catch yourself, land on your feet. Yeah, your fingers sting a little bit, but. <laughs> What's a shot? Uh, all right, uh, and Retribution's gonna strike at you twice. Oh, great. oh no! Great. Uh, that's a 15. We're eat this thing. Uh, that failed. It's not a one. That is successful. Uh, that is seven points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, that's not so bad. Uh, all right, Keyleth, you're up. Uh, uh, ah, uh, you guys, I thought someone was gonna kill him. I uh, tried, but he hurt my wrist really bad. <laughs> just, just hit him with your stick again. Uh, I know, because I don't want to fucking burn any spells on this just asshole. Just hit him with your stick. Just, yeah, God, get, get, ah! Go for it. God damn it. This hopefully works. Nope. No. Nope, that didn't wow. work. Wow. Tinga. <laughs> <laughs> Add the armor on these guys. All right, next up. Oh, gosh, I guess I that's, shoot him. That's... All right. Can I see him to shoot him? System. You can. I say you can see him all right. You can move over there and get a better view a little bit Someone around this corner. Kind of I'm gonna hunter's mark him. <laughs> hunter's mark him. Then I'm gonna shoot him. Okay, go for it. <laughs> like an old grandmother with a purse. Oh gosh, I'm just like so nervous about picking the twenty. No. Nineteen. Uh, Nineteen. The arrow hits the armor and shatters across Shit. the side. Nineteen. For the nineteen. Um, Twenty-four. That hits, does hit. right? Okay. okay, that's good. Oh, okay. Yay, you heard it. <laughs> well, oh, maybe. It's a high AC. Because of the shield. I have a bonus attack. Yeah, it's the shield and the armor. 18, 18. 18, 18 points of damage. <laughs> With that, the second arrow strikes into the center of its chest armor. It hits some sort of uh, core where its arcane form is held, and the actual, the, the reddish energy blinks out, and the armor just <laughs> crumples to the ground. Yes! Well, that's two of them. What's up, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> That was tough. Yeah. Okay, I immediately <laughs> turn my attention to Cassandra. Mm -hmm. uh, can I do like a medical check on her to make sure she's okay? Go ahead and make a medicine check, yeah. Where's Ripley? I start running out the hall to Ripley. I'm Me gonna well. sit down Oh, and... Trinket run is still running after her, too. All right, um, make a perception check for Trinket. <laughs> uh, okay, is it like him his smelling? Yeah, it's his, it's his wisdom bonus. I'm rolling a big dice for Trinket. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's good. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. Uh, Trinket is giving chase best it can. Um, Except, wait, yeah. hold on, hold on. I get advantage because he's got oh. advantage on smell perception. Same oh, it's thing. the same thing. Okay. okay. So Trinket's keeping track, but is having a hard time fully keeping up at this point, unless you're giving full attention towards him at this point in time. Okay. Um, but is keeping a track. Uh, <coughs> he is rushing as fast as he can down the stairs and is currently out of your sphere of personal influence at the moment. If I should have hunters marked her. I grab, I grab Scanlan and we're taken off after. What? I rolled a 17. Okay. Medicine check. Okay. Cassandra. Uh, checking Cassandra, there's the, the wound, is, there's no sign of a wound now. Um, she seems to be not in any danger. Okay. So she's like on the ground, kind of dazed. And check that. I'm going to collapse in the corner for a minute and start using my ascot to just clean some of the gore off my weapon and my f clothing and, and my mask. a lot of gore. Uh, okay. Are we out of combat now? You guys are currently out of combat. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, uh, clutching my bleeding belly, walk over toward Keyleth and say that that was a close one. Yeah. You know, I kind of... I feel like we've been here before. Oh, right. Oh, right. We have been here before. You know I'm in love with you, right? Oh. I'm gonna kiss her. Oh! Everyone. <coughs> Persistent cough. <coughs> and on that note, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick little break. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Quick I want to see what color you turned. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Quick break, guys. Yay! Quick. See you guys back here in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and what? 
We're going to go ahead and rule last week's attacks in France, Beirut, and the current Syrian uh, refugee crisis. We've decided to open up our tip jar this week in support of Doctors Without Borders. A lot of you have asked for us to do something in support of the tragedy that's going on around the world right now, and this is the least that we can do. Uh, I understand some members of our community have already raised over $10,000 for the uh, French Red Cross, and that's an amazing thing. And we want to continue doing everything that we can to support those in need. Uh, I wish we could do more, but at the end of the day, we exist as a entertainment channel. We're here f to help you guys forget all of the troubles that are going on in your world, and we want to make sure we don't really take a political stance on things and keep those opinions to ourselves, but do everything that we can to help others. So we're going to have a small donation bar on the bottom window all week long. Uh, we're not going to be calling out people who make donations. It'll be all anonymous. Um, if you don't donate at all, that's totally fine. This is just something that we thought we should do to support those in need. So thank you. I am a video game designer here living in Southern California. I design video games for a living. It's very fun to do. Very excited. I would very much like to be on this cruise ship uh, because I am a very, I very much need some vacation time. I have just finished designing my game, uh, Little Little Chocolate Boy, but I do not know where to go. So this would be perfect. I'd like to meet some new people and have some fun and play some shuffle boards and all these different kinds of things. So please pick me uh, as, as, a champ, as a champion of the United States and Germany together on this. I would just be tickled pink if I could win these cruise ship tickets because you know what? I just feel like uh, it would be a blessing and I've been waiting my whole life for something like this. I've always wanted to see nature and the sea and the ocean and the fishes. I just think they'd be cute as buttons. I'm from Modest Means so I never left Memphis. But I need to get out there and see the world. And who knows, maybe my music career will take off. Maybe when I'm on this cruise ship I'll meet some record producer They'll just hear my voice. It's on. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> you can call me Jennifer Lawrence. That's my not my name. My name's not Lawrence because I just got married. <laughs> Is Mrs. Delicia Faye. Boom! And I deserve to go on this cruise because. My wife is super busy all the time and I just need to meet some people, so just pick me to go on this cruise and we'll, I'm gonna sit down. Just pick me. Mm. Call me.
We're here for the horn section. Couple quick things, guys. Or I could just sit here and talk for a good 10 minutes, make you guys no. wait before we come back to the bombshell that was dropped. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> uh, we are 15 away from doing a giveaway. If we hit that 15, we will be doing the giveaway at the very end of the stream, right whenever uh, Matt says that's it. Uh, we will open up the chat for everyone and do that giveaway. I also want to say for all the people wondering what in the world was the No Survivors thing, uh, Snakes on a Plane number one was this last Monday, and it's up on the website right now if you guys are curious and want to check it out. It's probably the funniest thing we've ever done on this channel. It's ridiculous. And I don't say that lightly. Uh, but we're doing <laughs> Snakes on a Plane 2 on this coming Monday, so thanks guys. Hell yeah. Thank snakes you. on a Plane 2, more snakes, more plane. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. With the chaos that has ensued through the battle in Andrew's study in the Castle of Whitestone, uh, the party looks about. Uh, Cassandra Dorolo recovered and pulled from seemingly the brink of death. Uh, Vax pulled seemingly from the brink of death, and Percy managing to squeak in a second kill shot on a member of his list. Um, as the Rest period kicks in, Vax stepped across the room, holding his wound to his side, admitting his affection for Keyleth, and reaching out and kissing her. Or attempting to kiss. <clears throat> roll for, roll for contact there. <laughs> roll for tongue action. No. no. So, as, as, as he breaks from the momentary unexpected uh, embrace, you catch yourself off guard. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh. You know, the way you turn into animals and stuff is really cool. I'm going to collect I'm losing some of that blood. Yeah, was it, uh, mm. Right now. Are you sure you're. I, I, will, I leave the room uh, and look for Trinket. Just let me. And I cure wounds him uh, for. I'll, I'll do like a, a, a fourth level. Whoa. Fourth level. Whoa. Sorry, yeah. shut up, Sam. Shut up, my spell. 
Um, yeah, yeah, do they have fourth level of cure wounds? Where did all the spell slots? <laughs> <laughs> Go and roll. Folks, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> None of us know what we're doing. I feel like in the moment I would just do, a, do it really at a sure, over shut up. Overcome. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, what do I roll? Uh, hang on, one d8. So I'm rolling four d8s. I need d8s. God damn it. Here, here. Take, take, uh, take. <laughs> you can't have my d8s. Here, here, here. Why can't have, I have your d8s? Okay, fine. Yeah, have my d8s. Two of mine. That's, that's, two of that's fine. Okay, Give fine. me one more. Give there's me one, one more. more. All right. <laughs> okay. 14, 18. What are you doing? Five, I'm collecting eight, all of uh, as 20, many, like three, three or four of uh, of Vex's arrows from the from the ground. Okay. And getting them in my hand. And I'm waiting for, and I'm just sort of staying back from all of this and letting it happen. Okay. Not Collect the arrows. Uh, Vex has stepped out of the room to pursue after Trinket. Trinket is currently pursuing Ripley. Uh, Grog, you're watch that happen. No, Grog is going and ran out of the room after Ripley. Okay, you guys bolted out. Okay. And we're yelling now. Ripley! Ripley! Vex, are you all right? Oh, we shouldn't yell. We shouldn't yell, Grog. <laughs> Fuck that! I yell anyway. Was there a, a total? Thirty-three. Okay. So yes, feel better. That's good. I'm going to now take my um, handful of, of what is now basically a switch, and I'm going to start whacking him with it really hard on the chest. Who? Don't you! Don't go what? into rooms by yourself! God damn it! I kind of back into the corner upon seeing this. It's Percy first kind of, of all, moment. First of all, he was, he had a knife. You count to... Throat, he was going to kill her. Thank you, but count to ten, and now I drop them and go over to my sister. At which, which point, as you're saying this, I was you... afraid she was going to die. To be fair, you did kind of get her throat slit, but it's okay. As as you're saying this, and you, you turn around, you can see she's kind of sat up, and she just sees this conversation and goes, Percy. Hi. Percy. I'm so sorry. And she just gets up off the ground, runs up, and just grabs you and embraces you tightly. You can feel like all the muscles tense in her body as she just holds you with a slight shake to her body. I'm so sorry for leaving you. I thought you were dead. And she pulls away for a second and just looks at you, and there's there's a coldness to her face. She's happy, but there's even for her young young age, you can see there's you know lines at the corner of her eyes. She she's probably been through a lot. Um. She that she smiles and kind of looks up at you again, and you can see there's the white shocks in her hair, and she kind of looks up and touches your hair and goes, "I see we've both survived quite a bit." I wouldn't trade. She kind of laughs to herself, and you see another like kind of tear curl at her eye, and then her face goes cold for a second. And she, not breaking this gaze, kind of steps back. You shouldn't be here. They were using me to get to you. I'm I'm so sorry. I, are you all right? Did they do anything? <clears throat> Are you yourself? I'm just gonna reach up and hold her neck and... I'm good. I'm good. And she kind of steals herself for a second. And you, it, like, even more so, you see her, there's a, an intensity to her. Perception check? To... Insight. I, insight, I just wanna, I wanna make sure she's not holding anything really important back. Okay, go for it. Uh, insight? Mm-hmm. Do I get a bonus for that right now? Uh, it's a wisdom? Uh, yeah. No, because you were concentrating. This is not a saving throw, though. Uh, yeah, it's wisdom. It's not a saving throw. It's not a saving so, throw. Sorry. 11. 11. Okay. Uh, best you can tell, she seems very honest. She seems forthright. She just also. You're used to the memory of your sister being this kind of bright-eyed, cheerful, youngest of the bunch, you know, mm-hmm. near youngest, and and definitely a, uh, um, a woman who sees the world with fresh eyes. This, these eyes are different. They're they're colder. They're hardened. Um, in ways you're impressed. In ways you're also immediately sad to see that that memory of your sister probably is no longer there. We're putting an end to the Briarwoods tonight. Before the sun sets, this is the end of them. It's all going to be over. And we're going to stop whatever it is they're doing under the city. You say this. We've tried twice. 
I know. This is it. You left me, you know. I know, and I'm so sorry. Good. Well, if we're going to do this, let's get ready. Let, you're going to your room. Yes, I Wait, am. Wait, this is over. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to my room to get my things, to get my mother's armor. <laughs> Your, no. I don't think that's a very good idea. I've, I've been fighting them for what? A few days? I've been fighting them for nearly three years. You have no power over me, brother. And if our goals are aligned to free this city, let's do it together. But I don't have to listen to you. God, you're irritating. Fine. Ugh. She walks out of the room. She's so obnoxious. What? <laughs> you have a sister. Oh, God, I do. <laughs> uh, you guys charging off. Uh, Trinket's keeping trail by sticking. Uh, she's run down uh, the stairway. Uh, he is beginning to slowly gain on her. She reaches the front doors. Does remember the caltrops. Um, jumps over them. Grabs the door, opens it, and rushes out into the daylight. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check for Trinket. Oh. Oh, come on, Trinket. Oh, he saw it happen. <laughs> He's got really good vision. <laughs> come on, Trink. Yay! Um, oh, yeah, that's like 24. Yeah, Tr Trinket just jumps over. <gasps> Uh, the door is only slightly open, so Trinket has to kind of stop and wedge his way Can through. Can he cannonball into her? Um, try to catch her? <laughs> it's the same speed as if you dashed, it'd be the same speed. Right. Um, however, it takes a moment to get through. You guys now get down the stairs um, as Trinket opens the door and wedges through. Uh, okay. I mean, there's a scent out there, but she's nowhere in visible range. She's either darted off the path or possibly off the actual uh, roadsides. And you can see now the struggle that's happened. You can you can now hear in the distance the, the sound of yells and fighting, and uh, there doesn't appear to be any one side or the other pushing. I whistle at Trinket and to get him to stop. Okay, as you get to the landing, you whistle out, and Trinket is just now pushing through the door, uh, you know, and gets out for a bit, looking back and forth, looks over the shoulder, and runs back to you. It appears that Ripley has scattered into white stone somewhere. We stop. Okay. We need to find the Briarwoods. Are we meeting? I'm still upstairs. Are you going to come meet us again upstairs? Are we all, we're all still upstairs? Yeah, we'll, yeah. Just, we'll get waiting. I'm waiting back upstairs okay. or wherever they are. I uh, give Vax a hand. Taking a short rest. Mm. We're taking a short rest? We 20 minutes. I mean, it, yeah. We're waiting there. They followed her down. I'm waiting on Cassandra. So. Okay. I can stay down in that. Sorry, are you, are you, are you, come, are you, come up. Are you waiting in the study? Yeah, waiting in the okay. study. Okay, she goes off to her room. Um, you're there for a few minutes. Does, We're does, all in does the Grog study. show up? We, we come back and say, that that Ripley is very talented. She got away. <laughs> talented, yeah. Dr. Ripley. I have yeah. no doubt. Yeah. We have, we have <laughs> bigger issues than, than Anna at this <laughs> point. Take a bath. Take a bath. Keep Grog, do you have the, the, the bag of holding? I do. Can you scoop up what's left of Professor Anders? Ooh. <laughs> look, what? Look, Can look. I loot him first? Yes. Yeah, I mean, just see what's on him. Can I? Like his, I head, his head bits? Or? Yeah, I don't his body want is any of him. I don't want any of him sticking around. Do we have to put him in the bag of yeah, holding? Yeah, why can't we just like set him on fire? Or yeah, cut his head off? Yeah, stuff him in a closet or something for now. Let's set fire, him on fire. Fire, fire will do. Is there I a had... fireplace in the room? Yeah, there is. There is throw a... him in the fire. Fine, we'll throw wait, him in the fire. Wait, we'll loot wait, him first. Let me yes. see what's on him. Okay. getting really. You uh, make an investigation check. We don't want him coming back. 
That's he's like he's crumpled up against the uh, the desk. He sits, uh, you know, in the corner. There's all these papers that got pushed off the side. There's a bunch of random scrawlings. And Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. Uh, you search his body. You find uh, uh, one hundred and twenty gold pieces on him. Yeah. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> really he doesn't keep his his important shit on him for the most part. Um, you do find, however, his uh, the boots that he's wearing are very finely crafted, and unlike the rest of his his wear, um, have uh, kind of a hand stitching in it that is exemplary in construction and doesn't match with the rest of his ensemble. Okay. So it seems like something you wear more for function than actual style. Pardon me. I take him. You take him. Take his shoes. Okay. Does anybody have magic? Can you can you see what these are? Huh? I'm I mean, sure I can look at them. Look at these, Gunnan. I look at them. Okay, if you're taking a short rest, <laughs> you can you can take take the short rest to inspect the boots, get the feel for them. They are indeed enchanted. Um, they are a, a pair of boots of levitation. Ooh. Um, once per day, you can trigger uh, the levitation for up to ten minutes, as per the spell. You can't actually move as part of it. You just levitate in the air, and you have to kind of push off. To make awesome. space. Oh, like zero really G, cool. kind of zero G, like Willy Wonka. Uh-huh. Zero G boots. Oh hell yeah! Do they fit? Uh, they fit anyone who wishes to put them on. Oh, uh, ma- magically. Magical items. It oh, we're playing with that later. Yeah. Um, I'll just hold on to it. We'll now. just hold on to it. So yeah. Uh, Anything else you guys want to do while you're waiting? Can we all just triumph once when we get back mm-hmm. to Grayskull Keep? Anything else you yes. guys want to do while you're waiting? Anything else in the room? Can yes. I snoop around the room and investigate? Yeah, go make an investigation check. I drag Anders over to the fireplace. I'll look awesome. at Scanlan. It doesn't quite fit, so I have to kind of snap some. Twenty-seven. Joints. Okay, good. As you're looking through and kind of finding papers and papers and ledgers and talk discussions of of old uh, classes untouched inside, you uh, go through one of the uh, the bottom drawers and there's a lock to it. Um, oh, let's unlock ahead. that. Vax, uh, do you need my help to unlock it? Uh, no, shorty. Hold on. Are there any <laughs> traps in there? And made a perception check. Uh, that is. Um, Oh, 20, yeah. Uh, it does appear to be trapped. Does it, it does appear to be trapped? <gasps> so what do I roll to undo that? Dexterity or? Uh, this would be a, uh, this would be a uh, lock pack thieves again? tools as well. Thieves tools, so all right. Same trick you can do the lock pack thing. Oh, I can open it for you. Okay. Uh, it's a natural 20, <laughs> so that's un- untrapped. Oh, okay. as, as part of that, you, you, you notice that Breathe. part of this mechanism is when it opens, if there isn't a, uh, a switch underneath it held uh, that's hidden, it will cause a dart, a poison dart, to launch out in the direction of whoever's in the front of it. You hold them, and you find it, you open it up yeah. without an issue, and you find the spring mechanism, snap it, and remove the bolt, and the little, little poison tip bolt kind of chuck yeah, it off the side. Give me that. Take it. Okay. You have a, well, you have a poison tip bolt. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> for a, that? a tiny little hand crossbow, essentially, is what it is. So now I gotta unlock um, it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 20. Natural 20? No, not a natural. Oh, okay. Thing, but <laughs> yeah. because of the easy enough to unlock at this point, you get it open. You pull it open. There, uh, there's a collection of letters. Um, Percival, come here. Um, <clears throat> you're probably the best person to know what to make of these. You glance through and inspect them, and you take the next ten minutes or so to get the gist of these letters while uh, Cassandra's away. Um, many of them talk about. A slew of things that are disconcerting to you as the information hits you, and you kind of you relay this information to the group. Uh, notes on the removal of key magical defenses during political meeting at Iman. Um, the discussion, uh, as in like making sure that certain individuals and safeguards that are usually made during political meetings like that were not present during that. Endeavor. Evidence is what that is. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Notes on best construction methods using the mined white stone and repairs for the manse in the ziggurat. The, the manse? What's a manse? As in a mansion. Uh, or a manse or a place or a home. Yes. It, it has many different meanings. Um, they're uh, warning Anders of, and there are multiple letters at different periods of time over the past few years, that are warning Anders of an arrival of Seeker Osum's spies. Uh, oh wait, he's a bad guy. There are letters talking about plotting, diverting political attention away from Whitestone to leave it a political enigma during this period of time. There are letters talking about planting information within Wildmount that would lead their investigation team 
to believe the Briarwoods have been found dead. It's the whole paper trail. And occasionally there are mentions in a lot of these letters that speak of uh, the undying king shall return. We are his blood. Oh Jarl, 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 what? The undying king what? shall return. Where did she get Jarl? We are his blood. From oh, we are. We are. Undying. We are. Yes. Skyrim. Undying king shall return. We, we are, are his blood. blood. And then it says. Which is what he and said. And then it says Jarl. Jarl. <laughs> Jarl. The letters Maybe aren't dictating. signed. <laughs> okay. Uh, are they all of the same hand? They are all of the same handwriting. Okay. I'm still shaking. In the cluster, there is one completely unrelated letter that just talks about uh, business ledgers and construction of the bridge. Hmm. It appears to be a simple, uh, a, a simple discussion on the future plans to, to construct the bridge. Is that in the same hand? It is in the same handwriting. And is it signed? It is signed, a Lord Raskel Daxio. Oh. Oh, who? <laughs> Axio? Raskel Daxio. Daxio. Oh, wait, we, I know, we, we know him. him. Yep. Who is he? It's part of the Council of Tal'Dorei. <gasps> oh, motherfucker! <laughs> He's, He's a fucking spy! He's technically also the one that helped uh, designate the construction of your keep. <gasps> He handles a lot of the construction right. stuff. Oh in the no! He built our keep. He's, he's a construction guy. He's Jerk. like a head builder. He could have spy. He could be spying what on us. What is his name? Rascal? What? He's spying on us on the keep. That's oh, probably how they got. He could have a secret like entrance to our keep that he built and didn't tell us. Holy! As soon as we yeah, see that, I go down in the crouch and I shit scry on our keep <laughs> to see if it's still there. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I put an elemental there. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It's babysitting. Uh, yes, you did. Uh, that uh, lasted oh, for so 30 days. 30 days. Um, glancing within the kitchen, there doesn't appear to be much that catches your attention. You shit in the kitchen? Yeah. I put a, sh- a mound of shit in a jar in the kitchen, and I told him, don't don't clean it up. Yep. <laughs> like you do. You know. Like you do. Thursdays. <laughs> I've got Enders in the fireplace, and I Is it Thursday yet? the firebrand Warhammer with the magic word bacon, and I hit it and set it on fire. There's already fire in the There's fireplace, fire but you going. just stoke it a little further, and pretty soon the, the delicious scent of burning human flesh fills the room. Bacon. Yeah, bacon. <laughs> Did you know that was makes what the word was? <laughs> so everything's fine at the keep. Bacon makes at everything the, uh, magic. At the time, yes. <laughs> at the time. At least there's nothing on fire, there's no screams, there's no movement. It just seems like the cold kitchen is untouched. So I'm trying to figure out, I'm, I want to think. my shit saw no movement. <laughs> <laughs> good, good to know, good to know it's coming. You've squeezed all you're going to be able to get out of that. Percy, can we get into the underground caverns from here? Uh, do I, can I think of a way? I mean, like, I'm assuming that I would know the way to where this might be. As you have this conversation, a voice from the doorway rings out. <clears throat> I can take you. And you look over and it's Cassandra. She's gonna take us. Is that your sister? Apparently. She's currently now dressed in uh, armor you've seen as ornamental before. It was armor that your mother trained in when she was young, but was unused for a long time. It seems to be serviceable, though, like it's been updated as such. She has it worn, she kind of slides a short sword into a sheath at her side, and her hair is pulled back and tied off, and she kind of just looks at the rest of the room. So, are you ready? Let me see your neck. She steps up and lifts her chin up towards you. By the way, this is Grog. I'm going to insight check as to meet you. That. These are my friends, by the way. Do I see anything on her neck? No. Neck seems fine. There's no signs of any puncture wounds. Uh, wrong. It's a 15. Okay. Um, she seems as determined as the rest of you. All right. Lead the way, sister. <clears throat> she turns around and she begins walking back in the hallway. Can we get... expect any more traps that you're aware of? I'm aware of no, but I'm certain that there may be. They know you're coming, it seems. So be wary, be careful. I'll take you to the Undercroft. Did we just do a short rest here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember the guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember the time. <coughs> hey, Percival. Mm. Um, any chance you can load up one of uh, Ripley's guns for me? I don't know if it will actually, I, I would have to probably train you on how to use it. Really? Uh, I've seen you use it, you just 
pull your finger on the finger part, and the big boom part comes out. <laughs> it's a little more complicated than that, well, yeah, actually. You have to but... point it at the thing you want to be boomed. I mean, he could use it, he just wouldn't could... be able to add his proficiency bonus to the attack rolls. I'll load one for you, and so I'll, I'll give him her boomstick. And... Okay. You take it, you inspect it as you guys are walking along. Just making sure oh, it functions, man. too. And It seems pretty functional. It's well-constructed, it's sleek, it's not very, like, like your paper box has a bit of flair to its design, as is, you know, your background. Hers is just streamlined, simple, much like the decor of her room when you saw it. Like, she's she doesn't mess with anything fancy or unnecessary. Um, the ammunition she does have are made specific to size to her pistol. They would not function Damn it. for the pepper box, unfortunately. They will only work for the pistol, and it is... It, I'm doing okay. It does act... Not doing great, but I'm doing okay. Yeah, it does act as a pistol uh, for a full rules-wise, which are in your, your sheet there. So yes, you have that. Do you, want, do you want it? Just in case yours misfires? Um, I'll steal it back from him if I need, but it should be fine. It's... it's. I'd like to make an athletics check, or acrobat... Or athletics. See if I can spin it around and put it in my pocket. Wait, where did you get it? That would be a dexterity check. Okay, I'll do that. So no, you, you have it. <laughs> well, I give it to it. me. Give it to him. <laughs> Careful, spin Alfie. It? Put your eye Thanks. out. All right, go ahead and roll a dexterity. Just add, roll d20, add your dexterity modifier. Okay, don't roll the one. Dexterity. This is this? literally how she lost her hand. <laughs> What's this? Why does it say plus four? Next this music that? is awful as yeah. you're checking. Yeah, tick, 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 violins playing. It's it's, well, it's zero, it's but it said there's a big plus four next Hannibal to it for some reason. Be temporary. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> zero. Zero. Well, it's, cool. uh, it was 14. Okay. You <laughs> I managed to get it in there. Thankfully, it's not loaded because you feel the trigger go off. Oh. But there wasn't a bullet loaded, so it's like. <laughs> oh, we took all the ammunition. Whew. Okay, now give me a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> I one. hand him the ammunition. I load four of them. Yeah. You, you're, you're giving him a load. I'm a big him. boy. Oh, well, I'm a little boy, boy but I'm a little if big boy. If something goes horribly wrong, I would like wrong, to walk past Scanlan and grab it out of his it. hand. What? I oh. will I'll prevent him from trip. doing that. You okay. Like you guys are fighting over a loaded. Fight a hand check. Fight a hand check. Athletic strike. Son of. Eight. 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 You go first. Is this a skill check? Yeah, add your athletics to your roll. Uh, 17. Shut up, 27. <laughs> as you go, as, as you go to be, no, what are you? It's already gone. You don't even know where it went. You didn't see him take it. You just all of a sudden see it in his hand as he walks past And you. I walk over to Cassandra. I don't give her the gun. I just say, uh, you are Cassandra. Yes. <laughs> I was at the door. He had a knife to your throat. He wanted you to say something to us. What did he want you to say? He wanted me to shout for help. He wanted me to draw you in. Can I inside check her to see if she's telling the truth? Yeah. You've been living here. How did it come that he had a blade to your throat today? How did it all unravel? Have you been living here? 24. 24? Uh, she's telling the truth. Okay. That's good. Well, after the arrows felled me, I guess I should start from the beginning. And she's walking along with you guys as she's okay. leading you down the stairs and down to the bottom floor. And she's kind of still, she doesn't look to you, she's still looking ahead, very kind of intent. I take that pistol back from you. <clears throat> After the arrows felled me, I recovered. Father Rhinel found me and brought me from the brink out of the uh, Temple of Pelo, outside of town. The things hadn't fallen quite that far back then. And uh, we had more people in the city. At the time, the Briarwood rule was fresh and folks were eager to speak out against what they've wrought on this city in the fall of the Dorolos. We still thought they had fallen to plague and just through some unfortunate political business they had come to power, but we began to question. I knew better. I told the truth once I had recovered and we began to build our first rebellion. For two years, we built up a resistance before we made our first move. But they, they seemed to know exactly what we were plotting. They cut us off at every end. I couldn't see who it was that was giving up our information, but I knew I was close. But before I had the opportunity, I, I was helming a group that was traveling to utilize the escape route that I took you through when they first attacked, and 
was just after dusk, and Lord Briarwood was there waiting for us. In the forest. They slaughtered most of the men, but he he recognized my face from the dinner we had. The night they took the castle. It's, they did not harm me, strangely. They treated me like a guest against my will in my own house. I seem to ascertain that they knew in keeping me there and having a member of the house within their grasp, they could use that as leverage. I don't know. Now Silas, he had his charms, and there were many that worked beneath him against their own will. It did not work on me. My hatred was too strong. So instead they tried to provide me with wealth. Power, near in Whitestone. I just took to reading and ignoring it all. I don't know why they kept me around. But I wasn't going to question it if it gave me a chance to possibly undermine them. And she kind of grabs the side of her sword as you guys have now reached down a long hallway towards the uh, the back of the castle. You know the direction she's taking you that leads to the cellar, which leads to the Undercroft and the Dorola Mausoleum. Three years of reading in that library, Father's Library. Strategy, tactics, old lines of information, as well as the myth and history of Whitestone. I found allies within the castle. I contacted Yenin and threw him Archibald, who helped me build the first rebellion. Archibald still lives, Percy. And he's been completely necessary in what we've built here. She kind of looks down at her armor as you guys reach the edge of the cellar and she pulls the door open quietly. And there's wooden stairs that lead down into the cellar. Ah, she taps her armor. Oh, there's me mothers. It's good to know I'm not the only tomboy in the bloodline. <laughs> kind of brushes the hair out of her face and kind of, for the first time, really looks at you with a smile since she first saw you. Can we do one thing before we go down? into the cellar, I just, this is the best day of my life, and I can't help but be suspicious. I completely understand. Is there any way to check if she's being controlled? I was thinking the same thing. Can we put your helmet on her? The only, the only thing you really, have seen work is the Greater Restoration spell you cast on Secret Awesome when you guys were in the Council of Tadore. That did seem to remove any sort of trauma effects, that's what you're asking about. We don't have that. I didn't learn it. Not for today. Kind of thought Pike's magic would hold up. I could try and jog her memory. Pike. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do to... Oh. Make you trust you me. Punch her in the face? Yeah. I do trust you, that's the problem. She kind of smiles a little bit. Whatever you need. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Do you want to have a, any creative means in which they would want to check? <clears throat> what would happen if we put your helmet on her? Sorry, she's already controlled. This might would disrupt it, it, maybe. We might disrupt it. And try it. Doesn't hurt to put our hat on. It has to be attuned over a short rest. It does. Do, does the hat need to be attuned over a short rest? In theory. I want to suggest something to you. That we rest here for half hour, and I give this to you. This came from a very strange creature. It, it will help you resist 
any control, if there is any control. And one of us, you can even choose, could strike you and try to take you out of it. And if you're not being controlled, then you're being struck across the face, and I'm sorry for that, but if you are, there's a possibility we'd pull you out. And I know that would hurt, but it would go a long way to earn our trust. If that's what it takes. Oh. And she takes it from your hand and kind of inspects it for a second. Shoddy craftsmanship. <laughs> Places it on her head, and it's a little big at first, and it kind of conforms a little bit to her head. Your choice. She sits down a couple steps deep into the cellar, kind of curls around a corner, ushers you all over to follow her into the shadow. Can I see before we leave? Um, are we near any windows? <clears throat> From this location, no. Okay. And all windows that would be here would face out into the north side of Whitestone, which is just forest backyards. And all right. Yeah, you guys are on the, on the on the north side of the castle now, so the city is south of you. So you take a moment and sit. And while you guys are waiting, she kind of like takes a moment. She's adjusting it and feeling it and inspecting her hands and like. I don't feel any different um, while we wait. What if the little one struck you? Struck her? <laughs> to kind of give it some time. A, a, a wry grin. Whichever you choose. I could try to tell if she's <clears throat> evil or not. Would that help? Yeah. Well. I don't know. I don't think she's Actually, evil, but she could be a puppet. Can I try this? It's a long shot. Um, my, actually, I think our fey ancestry from being half-elves were immune to charm effects. Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we're... Or we have resistance. Yeah, we have resistance to it. Advantage against saves. Yeah, resistance. Since we kind of have that, can we use our, our fey ancestry to the three of us tap into her and see if we can detect a charm? Your resistance doesn't give you a tune to it, and unfortunately it's just the natural ability that's inherent. Her being human, it's there's not a way to really correlate with that. I mean, you've read over her a few times, given a few insight checks, and you're giving her this example. Wait, it was, it was greater restoration? Yeah. yeah. Ah, ah, ah. You have that? I have a potion. This should solve all of our problems. Or you could save that for when one of us becomes a vampire. No, it'll be, and I'm, I'm pulling out a potion, a potion bottle. It says, if you are controlled, this could fix it. She puts her hand out, you know, her like leather glove pulled over it now. You've never seen her quite militant before, and it's a really interesting visual to you. I look at her. And she drinks the potion, whole thing down, takes off. <clears throat> that was actually a minor healing potion. I was just seeing if you did it intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> she gives her eye grin and kind of wipes her mouth. So I recognize that terrible earthy taste. She tosses the, the, gla the crystal decanter to you. Clever boy. <laughs> you always were the clever one. <clears throat> I figured it was worth a shot. That's all the great. That's what we're gonna do. Am I supposed to punch her in the face now? No. No. <laughs> no. She'll Can show us. Stick this thing? I'll take it back, yeah. She hands it back to you. All right. Don't you yeah, have to tune into You can see that there's a fascination she has with her armor, and she's like, she's, she's kind of, she's like, I, I've not been able to wear this before. <clears throat> it feels good to have something close to mother. It's been a long time. <sighs> Simon repaired it for me when he was working here. Oh, I haven't seen him in a while. Mm. All right. That's the name of my belt as well. Let's go down and take care of this. Cass? She leads you uh, down through Ray, the cellar. Hang on, before we enter, it's safe to assume they know we're coming, correct? If they're there. Yeah. 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 Better safe than sorry. So... Uh, I... Can I ask Cassandra if... I guess I'll, that's it. Let's ask her anything you like. I don't know. Are they down, are the Briarwoods going to be da down there? Are they here? She goes, uh, I mean, I have no confirmation of them, but they spend most of their time down here, preparing for something. And have you ever been down here? I'm 
Not allowed down here by the orders, but I've snuck down a few times out of curiosity. I've only gotten so far before I had to return, but I've, uh, I've made it through the Undercroft, through most of the tunnels, and I've gotten to the distillery, and uh, that's about as far as I've gotten. But I follow them down here, and they usually come with a group of guards, four or five strong. Are there centuries? Can we expect to find traps, lookouts? <laughs> That's definitely a possibility, so move quietly, be careful. What is Lady Briarwood? What is Lady Briarwood? She's a wicked beast of a creature, is what she is. I, I use less savory words, but my brother's here. <laughs> um, <It's the> first <clears throat> time for everything, I suppose. As, you, as she kind of leads you guys in down, down the stairs for the <sighs> in the crop, she goes, well, She's not like her husband, that I know. And as far as I can tell, she's human. But she has a very powerful control over life and death. She's a practitioner of the arcane, most definitely, but her focus seems to be necromancy on a wide scale. And like while Delilah and Silas are men in life, they, they, they speak of another. They speak of another? Mm -hmm. The guy that she, they're trying to bring back. As if a third party completes oh, this the union. Is the king that will rise again? Uh -huh. They don't say any names. They refer to him as him, or the Whispered One. No reference beyond <gasps> that. What? What if it's the guy of Percy? What if it's what? I'm having that thought as well. What if it's what? The Percy guy smoke whispers monster. to Percy. Oh shit. Oh boy. Playing both sides, possibly, Percival. Oh, question, another question for Cassandra. The Duke, Vegmire, Vegmire, Venkman? Quagmire. Vegmire. Vegmire. Yes. Have you seen him around Vigmire. the castle today, or recently? Yeah, I've only seen him in the castle maybe three <coughs> times since we've been here. Because Grog, he's a Goliath. He's a, wait, what? He's a, he's a big, big Goliath. So if he's here, you should just you know. How'd you see him? Oh, when I was a dinosaur and I burned down a house and killed a bunch of people. It's a series of words that I know you individually. Him? It strings them I together fought him? I fought a Goliath. Really sense. I wouldn't say fought because I sort of beat him really easily and then I ran away. Oh, you killed him? No, no. I just pushed him off a building and then I, then I thought that was enough for the day, so I went home. <laughs> <laughs> so you point, Cassandra, Cassandra looks over her shoulder at this. It's a shame you're not as tall as your tail, small one. <laughs> well, thank you. No. <laughs> Take that as a compliment. No. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. No. No. <laughs> um, before we cross the precipice into this under, what is it? Under cross. Under cross. You're referring to. Yeah. Um, Percival, we all have fought with you this whole time, and we've, we've, we, you know that we have your back, and yes. that we're with you in this 100%. Yes. But I'd like our enemies to know that as well. So with your permission, I will cast seeming on all of us, and I make <gasps> the girls look like Cassandra, and the boys look like Percy. So I give, give us all you the white hair. You crazy so motherfucker! <laughs> and, and if possible, I'd like to emblazon the sign of the rebellion on our chests in sort of a awesome Superman well, glowing. Epic. All right. <laughs> that's awesome. So, <laughs> but then within We're a three moment, amigos singing. The <laughs> like of, of uh, Scanlan's arcane mastery, all of you form into a a, a small battalion of Percy's and Cassandra's, armored up. <laughs> Is in, he a big Percy? Uh, yes. He would have to be, yeah, because yeah. he still stays similar Percy. to his actual size. So. So if, if Percy was a little thicker and a little taller. Percy's been hitting the roids. Yep. What is uh, trinket? <laughs> Percy trinket's pulled on a bear. A bear with, with, like a, with two streaks of white hair. Yeah. <laughs> trinket's like a Sanrio and he's still, version he's of Cassandra. The glasses. Yeah, with the little glasses. Yes, he's so yes, yes. Cute. We, we are all Dorolos today. He's a hello trinket. <laughs> hello trinket. Hello trinket. Oh. <laughs> oh, um. nice. uh, with your Cassandra. Demonic. Like, Looks around very confused for a second. Curious, yes. Um. But abrasive, right? You're put off by it, so it works. It's possibly working. confused, possibly it's confused. Abrasiveness <laughs> is his most powerful weapon. <laughs> I'm beginning to see. 
Well then, she pulls, oh, she pulls uh, <laughs> short sword out. Shall we? Yes. Are we like going in? Are we like going in to fight now? We're going Who knows? into the cavern. Let's see what's I'm down stealthing. there. I'm as, as are we all. Yes. <laughs> Everyone roll stealth checks. Should I cast Pass Without a Trace? Should I use? Yeah, yeah uh, I'm gonna use Pass Without a Trace because I don't have a lot of second level spells. So. Okay. Oh yeah, please. Plus 10. Yeah, plus 10 to your stealth. Oh really? Yeah. Thank God. Boom. Natural 20. You're welcome. 26. Natural 30, 20. 30. <laughs> natural 20. Yeah. Oh, natural 20 plus. 30 plus whatever your bonus is. Yeah. Um, that's, that's with the bonus. It's 30. Uh, it's, no, that's. I'll take you with the natural. No, that's 29. Machine. That's 39. Oh, 20. oh, you. 39 for me. I'm I'm just, just outstealth from you. I gave him a fucking cloak, yeah. man. <laughs> Do we all get plus 10? Yeah. Yes. Oh, then 29. I'll be all right. In a 28. Week. 21. Okay. Oh, Before we go in, oh. I go, Vax. Oh. Um, How do you know it's him? <laughs> just. It's <laughs> <laughs> point. Vax? Vax? Yes, it's me. Yes, Kayla, it's me. Vax. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, no, no. Oh. <laughs> I just. I, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's me, Vax. Kiki, Kiki. I'm no, I'm what do you need? It's me. Oh. Kiki, I'm over here. What is me? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is really creepy because it's brother and sister talking to each other right now. Yeah. It looks like Percival and Cassandra. <laughs> <laughs> this is uncomfortable right now, by the way. This is, we're all. Everybody is there anybody who is not made uncomfortable by this? <laughs> this was supposed to be a passing comment, and it's turned into a thing. Well, pass it, pass the comment. <laughs> <laughs> um. We're all. Let's be careful. Of course, Caleb. He will be. <laughs> God damn it. I <laughs> can't do this anymore. Carry on, carry on. <laughs> Just go, let's go. Can we go? Oh, uh, sit. Sister Vex, do you mind giving me that gun again? Shut up, no. Skip. <laughs> That'll be no, no problem at all. You can't have it. Why? Because I'm three feet tall. Because <laughs> I want it. Oh, uh, is this the body switching episode? <laughs> right. Let's go. Let's go. Continuing down to the car. Um, a long set of white stone constructed stairs descend for about 45 feet before they level off into the Dorolo Mausoleum. A long hallway continues forward um, that contains two 10 by 10 stone structures that contain uh, the entombed bodies of previous generations of Dorolos with six passages, three on each side, that split off of this main hallway that contain their own stone encapsulated corpses. Um, this is a place of silent prayer and showing appreciation for the previous families. Uh, not all of them were full, and there were extensions planned as the family grew, um, but the first thing you notice is all of the uh, tomb doors are open. You're holding a torch light source going through this? Uh, he's got I'll, his flaming war hand. Yeah, and I'll light up my hands. Okay, so the two of you are the center I think I still have a torch, actually. Uh, you've been carrying it with you through that? Yeah. Okay. Dagger. Okay, so you have enough light sources to keep a general idea of what's going on. And a lot of you guys have dark vision, too, so you have pretty decent range. I have no light vision. So, what's the marching order here, guys? Just so I know, continuing down this path. I feel well, like. Um, we'll I go. Percy, Cassandra, Cassandra, Percy, 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 Cassandra. <laughs> boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. I'm gonna perception ahead, so I'll be towards the front. Towards the front? How about Grog in second place? The big sponge. Trinket staying with you or staying back? He's gonna stay further back. Put me in a happy middle. Grog's second. Keyleth is, you said you're in the middle? She's lucky Pierre. All right, uh, the rest of you guys. Trinket staying close to Scanlan. Okay, Scanlan, staying towards the back? I guess so. All right. Percy, the backs? Uh, I'll be behind Grog. Okay. As well. So I'll be in the back with my sister. All right, and this is Cassandra. No. Oh no, okay. she's so drunk. This is like a flying V formation you guys are pushing in here. Go home, Doralyn, you're drunk. All right, so you progress to the Undercroft quietly as possible. 
you notice as you get past the first section, you look to the right and left, and the inside of these small, like, uh, cubby offshoots that contain these separate uh, 10 by 10 stone tombs. The walls have shelves kind of burdened to it in which there are uh, urns and uh, small gems and offerings, things that were kind of buried alongside the family members as part of a remembrance. Um, yeah, no, no, go Skyrim. Not, <laughs> uh, yeah, not, not fun. Not fun. I wasn't going to do it. Right? Um, once again, you see the, the doors are open, and from what you can tell, the stone lids on the tombs are uh, pulled off and kind of to the side. Um, across the way, as you move towards the center of the room to the second set of openings, you can see the far wall, which it ended. The, the room ends in the far side, but there is about a 15, 20 foot wide and about a 10 to 15 foot tall hole burrowed into the far wall. And the closer you get, you see large piles of dirt that fill one side of the room or are put off to the side, as if there's pieces of this dig were discarded. And there's a trail of dirt across the ground that appears to have not been very well cleaned to show that dirt was being moved in and out of this area. You also see, as you push towards the kind of two-thirds into the room, broken pieces of white stone that have been carved uh, into what looks like parts of walls or pillars, support things that failed in their construction and just broke and were kind of tossed and discarded to the side. Um, make a perception check. Oh. Oh! Natural 20. Jesus. Oh, nice. What the fuck? <laughs> might have to count. I had, I, had I, had a, I had a one today. A one. A and one. I had 20s. a one. Someone, one of you critters out there has to get Talos in a really, really pretty new d20 that he has to use going, going forward. <gasps> oh. That's shapeways.com. Shapeways. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> um, all right, so. Uh, what did you get? Uh, 29. 12. 26. I don't remember, but it wasn't very good. Okay. 13. Okay. Um, those of you it wasn't as good about as 25 or above, you glance in, in, in you find two of these slivers of this material you don't recognize and part of this broken stone. It's it's like a dark green glass, uh, about a half an inch to an inch thick in slivers. You only find a small scattering few, and it has a, a grainy texture to it. Um, and you kind of take a look at it, and it, it, it's opaque. Uh, you know, it's, it's transparent. You can see, you know, uh, shapes through it, but it's it's a pig enough to the point where it distorts a little bit of the visual and color behind it. Um, Can I do a nature check on this? Is this similar to the broken, kind of broken glass that I collected before? Which broken glass you collected before? I don't know. I just have broken glass. I feel like that was glass. the red stones or something from I feel before. like there was some sort of like. There was that sea of glass. Yeah, we were in like some cavern or oh, like the bone. Cave. Oh, the sea of bone and glass? Okay, yeah, it is not similar to that, no. <laughs> However, uh, those who are uh, trained in Arcana, you can go ahead and make an Arcana roll. Trained, trained in Arcana. Trained in Arcana. What is this? How do you know if you're trained in Arcana? I don't, negative two. What's that? <laughs> uh, you, you would have filled in, if you had the proficiency. The dot? The dot. Oh. oh, 11. Oh, oh, the dot. <laughs> uh, you have really no idea what this glass is. I grab it back. That was just me. I'm the only Arcana trained person here. That's Kira. it. Kira. 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 Wow. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Can I try a nature check on it? Sure. It's like <laughs> sure. it's not gonna it's tell you shit, but sure. Ooh. Especially. 15. Yeah. It, she can see you. It's glass, right and you know, mo you. most glass She's you you understand is designed by uh, usually sand or other you know materials that a high temperature or some sort of process is. Uh, Melted and fused. So it's manufactured. It appears to be, or or, or naturally occurred. And then actually, and the the, the structure oh. of it has this kind of bumpy, wavy. Right. It's not like smooth oh. glass. It's kind like of, when lightning hits sand. Kind of, um, but you're not sure what, what what it actually is. I wonder if this was holding that acid. Yeah, or I wonder, wonder if something very very hot. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's like a symptom of something. When they burn the. 
white stone with the acid or something? Do Maybe I see any like recent tracks around here? Does it look like people came down here? Form of white stone. Make, make a survival check. Or what the magic with advantage on white because stone. your crazy ranger trick. Thirteen. You see tracks here and there, some fresher than others. Um, yeah. How many of us found this? Uh, well, so we saw it, and they have got one. Yeah, you've got one piece. The first is got the other. Second piece, yeah. Want to burn one? I walk away from the group. Could I all try? All the way to the back, and I take it. To the I, to where you came from, or to the yeah, end? towards where we came from. What's behind us? Like, what is it? Just tunnel back that way? You mean the like path you're going? Yeah, I push through the back of the group to the back. Okay. So What's behind, behind us? Where you just came from yeah. is the stairs that stairs. lead up to the castle. Hmm. Just throw it, but I see Vex looking around. Can I look for tracks as well? I'm proficient in survival and I never use it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Natural oh. 20. <laughs> oh, shit. I swear. It really is. <laughs> While you sit there inspecting just, the dirt. It looks like there's some tracks here, but I don't know what it's Grog, you immediately see um, a cluster of recent footprints, probably a day old at most, uh, that lead in towards the tunnel. Uh, looks like the prints are of uh, seven individuals. Um, Feet are fairly wide, uh, masculine and heavy in step. One uh, gate appears to be smaller, thinner, and more feminine. Ooh. How many tombs are open around us? Uh, eight total in this room. Should we check the tombs? They're already They're open, open and empty. And empty. We want to make a perception check. Oh shit! Yeah, all of us. No. Ten. 28. 25. 20. 18. Okay, uh, 20 and above, that'd be just you two? 20. Oh yeah, three. All right, so you three, this, you notice the temperature drop ever so slightly in the room, and in the darkened shadow, you kind of look around and you see what appears to be some sort of ethereal mass drifting. Damn it. God damn it, here we go again. We got a company. There is one round that you three get to act, the rest of yours have a surprise round right now. What kind of mist? Bad, deadly ghost What kind mist. of mist? What's, what kind of mist? So, Grog. A miasma. Vexra up here checking this. Nice. You guys are back here. This is here. Vax, you're back here. Oh. This way. Trinkets up with you. Close? And Scanlan, you're... I was in the back. Back in here, yeah. So you're over here with these guys. Um, you see one drifts out from this side, another drifts out from this side, and another drifts in from this side. So like undead ghouly guys? Ghosts, wraiths. Uh, there is a cold chill runs down the spine of Keyleth and Vax as they've encountered enemies similar to this in the past. It's that fucking shit that turned us. All right, let's roll some initiatives. Just those three, right? Uh, just those three. I feel yeah, like an asshole. Right. Shut the fuck up! I feel like an asshole. Get out! Okay, hold Get on. Get out! I'm, I'm changing dice, I'm changing yeah, dice. I'm, I'm banning that 20 for the rest of the game. I'm changing dice. <laughs> All right. Really? Makes no sense. Another yes. Tiny. It's a corner. It's a hollow die. It's a hollow die. It's there's a hollow like, die. There's nothing to be weighted on it. it it's a whiffle die, and now and I roll a one. one. <laughs> so it's just you. Okay. So <laughs> Shit, initiatives now. Twenty-eight. <laughs> okay. Fourteen. Okay. Fifteen. Thank you for that. Thank I can't you. believe I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one on it. All right, Percy, you're up it. first. You glance around and you can see the two entities going kind of pointing towards you, towards Keyleth, and you glance over your shoulder and see one kind of drifting out of the distance towards Vax. Uh, I yell, look out! And I take uh, several steps towards Vax. Uh, there. 
Uh, actually, on the other side of the pillar, so that I can actually see the one that's that's getting towards him. There. Yeah. You would not I, be able to see this one. Just those. I and mean, this one actually block, would block your view to that one. See, these are about ten feet tall. These these are the little sections here. So you, right now, you would be able to see these two here, and barely see this one. It would have three quarters cover. Would you ignore the sharpshooter? I know. Um, I want to back up into that corner though, just to get away from them. Over here. Yeah, over here. Okay, so you can see one of them right now. I'll take. I'll take. A... Fuck. Yeah, screw it. I'll take a shots with the pepper box. Okay. Um, I'll take my first shot. Go for it. That can't be right. Just checking. Twenty natural twenty. Okay. With a different dive. With a different die, of course. With a different die. Shut the fuck up. Who are you? Are you the Jesus? I'm the devil. Of... <laughs> I am. I am the devil. It's that smoke monster. And I have in come you. to do the devil's work. Yeah. Well. <laughs> no, that's it's so just. So all a of your going to conventions to meet Talos in the future. Make sure you get a nice long hold of his hand yeah. so you can roll better yeah, we too. Touch my Heal dice. me, because I'm rolling like shit. I tonight. will lick your die. It will be. Oh, that that is how I bless you. Lick both of them. Um, so. Uh, all right, so it's your first attack. <laughs> Second attack. Uh, first attack. Um, all against the same guy. I'm just wanna. I wanna take one. Yeah, that's 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 all against the same guy. Okay, so go for it. First attack is. Uh, Don't shoot your gun. Twenty-two guns. points of damage. It'll okay, is this with the element or not? No, no element. <laughs> okay, you fire. Just passes through it with no effect. Yeah, fuck off, oh. uh, misty dudes. Oh what? Damn misty dude! Sorry, yeah, with the critical. Mocking them. I spin. <laughs> no, okay. I. Uh, f- shoot with fire. Okay. <gasps> what the fuck? Get out! Take Get out! Get Take out! Right Take a, taking a picture. Get out! You're the anti. We had like eight. This tonight. isn't. How many is that? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Like crit roll stats. How many is that? <laughs> Tell us. Yeah, no, I know is, you've been counting. This is ridiculous. Go to Vegas. I'll put it on Instagram later. Go to Vegas. I've yeah. never been to Vegas. I go to yeah. Vegas. I don't gamble. You need to go. I need to go. Uh, okay. Uh, you need to go find the you D&D are the chosen casino. One. Play craps. <laughs> D&D casino. D&D casino. Make it happen, guys. I know one of you can. Um. All right. All right. And so which one is this? Uh, this is uh fire elemental. Okay. Um. That's. Um. 14 points of damage plus three damage of fire. That's including the crit damage. Including the crit damage. Okay. I rolled really poorly on my damage. Okay, so this one, the bullet does poof, hit its form in the burst of flame. Uh, the bullet converted to magical due to the nature of the chamber. Uh, and you can see its form. <coughs> it disperses for a second and then reforms, uh, continuing. We need magic. I'm taking my last shot. Okay. That was seven, by the way. Seven 20s. Thank this you. Game. That's stupid. Okay, see, that's better. So um, three. 15. <laughs> uh, 15 does it. All right. They're easy to hit, at They're least. easy to hit. Um, that's such a shitty roll. Um, 12 points of ice damage. Okay. The ice shot then tears through it. Um, uh, doing the additional damage, you see part of its form like crystallized from the little bit of ectoplasm that's floating there, but it's not enough to actually disperse its form. Um, it continues pushing forward. Uh, you would have to reload to yeah, use those. Yeah, I'm, I'm out, so. Yeah, okay. That ends your turn. It's now there, go. This one drifts forward to Keyleth. This one drifts forward to Grog. That's with our surprise round? So we have surprise round. Uh, no, 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 they, you guys are moving that everyone else is surprised. So if they oh, got we're the only three that aren't surprised. Oh, that sucks. So, uh, let's see if there's anything you get surprised. Uh, unless I'm raging. It's true. Uh, all right, so. Uh, all right, I need Keyleth, I need you to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Sorry, no, a charisma saving throw. A charisma saving throw? Correct. That's not great. Uh, don't my saving throw bonuses. Okay, so that's 10. Raging. Oh, she's gone. I've been Actually, before. before you, did you roll already? Yeah. I you did. Have to roll. What'd you get? 10. A 10. Okay. Uh, the ghost reaches out and embraces Keyleth, disappears into her form, and she shivers for a second, and it is no longer visible. Oh, he's taking over her body. 
Kayla's eyes all of a sudden flare up with a ghostly blue glow, and she turns around, looking at the group with the hunger you haven't seen in her eyes. Um, I need. Uh, for those who see it as well, by the way, um, I should have made this happen before. I need you guys to immediately, after seeing these ghosts, make a wisdom saving throw. What for? Everyone? Or just uh, the no, just the ones that see We're it. We're all immune be. to fear because of the feast. Yeah. That's right. So, never mind. That doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Thank Good you. reminding. Holy so, no, I, w I was right then. Yes, you forget were. Anything. You're always right. Uh, all right. Uh, so this isn't like a charm. Christmas thing, saving throw? Right? Christmas saving throw? Correct. Oh, okay. Uh, this isn't like a charm and thing. Grog. Yep. Is this charm, or is this? Uh. Charm? Nope. Okay. This is not a charm. Okay, so twelve for me. Am I caught as well? Twelve. Yes. Roll again. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. It's with luck. Huh? <laughs> God damn it! Oh, Thanks for last luck too. Yeah. There's two, I think. Two. We're gonna uh, die. Brog's bad for the other team. What do you roll? Four. <laughs> we don't even have a cleric with us. Wait, this is against charisma? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. You're the best. And with that, three of your teammates turn around, their eyes intensely glowing with some sort of a, a weird ghostly glow. 3v3, man. Battle Royale, let's do this. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, we He's have gonna to fight them? Eight. He's gonna call it. So, everyone else roll initiative. To fight them. How is that gonna happen? This is gonna go so poorly. <laughs> not us, not the possessed ones, right? Uh, no, you guys are already on, on the initiative. I'll be oh, really no, Grog, you still do. I still roll initiative? Yeah. For yourself. For yourself? What? Oh, wait. Mm. I'm possessed, though. Mm -hmm. Let's roll your initiative. What just happened? You have to roll initiative to see when you attack all of us. Yeah. Well, it's a good, it was a one. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, we, uh, we roll initiative too? We're re-rolling initiative? Uh, Three of us? Uh, everyone who hasn't rolled yet rolls now, so. Oh, 15. Oh. 15, okay. Unless I have to roll with advantage. Do you have to roll with advantage? I you would, yeah. Uh, oh, good! Two! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, what did you get? 13. 13. All right. Percy, you're up first. Us. I mean, I don't how, know what how to can do. We, help? we don't have a cleric. How do you have? You, uh, I think you guys like. Uh, there's. Don't let this up to us to figure out, right? You guys like turn undead. We don't have that. Was that when Kasha was here? Yeah, that was Kasha. Yeah, he cast turn undead. Awesome. He's not here right now. What are you gonna do? Okay. What are we gonna do? Um, what are we gonna do? All right, who's the most dangerous? Does Cassandra have any, like? That's my first action. I'm gonna use my bonus action to turn to my sister and go, what the hell do we do? Uh, she kind of looks at you a little bit frustrated. Please tell me she trained in cleric. <laughs> Please tell me she's like multi-classed. <laughs> she uh, looks about kind of and Oyen goes, I'm sorry, I'm not a holy woman. Fuck! Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have no symbols, I have no power, I have nothing. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> All right. going to bear down on you. Um, I'm... You guys have that holy water, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm backing up. I'm going to do my best to back up into the tomb right here. Right there? Uh, keep going to my right and until the, the drop-off. No, to, uh, behind me. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna back up into the tomb. Okay. Into there? No, 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 no. Up, up and oh, towards, towards you, the other side. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm putting my back against the wall. Okay, so you're up against the side? I mean, like that column. Take the, take the, take the damn you. laser pointer. Yeah, there. Okay. There you go. Never okay. Mind. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. Um, I'm unloading two shots. I'm reloading and, un and, loading and unloading two ma ma magical shots at Vax. Okay. Jesus. Um, I'm going to. Uh, Knock us unconscious. Um, I'm going conscious. to burn some fucking points. Okay. Um, uh, what am I gonna do? We're All right. Fucked. So do your worst. First shot is 
Fuck it, I'm using the old die. Ah, it's so loud. Uh, I've already rolled two 20s on that one. Uh, uh, first okay. shot is uh, a. I'm shooting uh, to get uh, Vax to drop his knives. Okay. Burning a grip point to drop his knife. Good idea, okay. good idea, good he has two, idea. So you only knock one, one of them out of his yeah. hand. Uh, the one that doesn't auto re, re, auto auto return. They, they all do. They all, they all do. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! That crazy belt. Man. Shooting him in the face. Fuck it. <gasps> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and my gun jams. Oh. You did that. I touched it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch it. Turn around and holding your gun out at Vax, even with this ghostly form, you're like, it's so hard to do so. And you close your eyes for a second and you pull the trigger. And in a weird way, you're both immediately. Distraught and at the same time relieved, well, relieved. that the gun jams. <laughs> ah! So that's your turn. Yep. All right. Uh, Seven twenty. You're up I first. Have to say. Two ones. Ghost Two drives ones. you to turn. God damn it! Up to him as he's like trying to fix the gun. Just daggers out. Uh, Go ahead and make your two attacks against him. No sneak attack damage, because he's not currently. Uh, the first was a uh, 13. The second was a 22. Pretty sure the 22 hits. 22 hits. Okay. Let's right, so go ahead and roll damage against first. Eight. All right, so take eight points of slashing damage, or piercing damage. Eight as you damage. feel the blade <coughs> pierce into the side, doesn't get too far in, but you haven't been on the receiving end of his daggers before, and it's a <laughs> thought, seeing what they do to others. Um, all right. Uh, at the end of your turn, I want you to go ahead and uh, make a make a religion check. Oh, oh yeah. Right, come on. Oh yeah. Magic fingers. Magic love. Do you want what? Talison to lick it? Eighteen. Eighteen. That gentle glow left behind, that slight sliver of Pike's essence that went into your symbol of Seren Ray. Flares for a second. It flares again instinctually, and for a moment in your head, in which darkness is taking your vision, you feel your body, you can feel it moving on its own, but you have no control. You hear Pike's voice whisper in your ear from a distance. It says, Max, it's okay. <laughs> At which point, suddenly, you feel the coldness sucked out from you. The, the symbol flares for a second, and the ghost is thrust out of your form. <laughs> yeah! Um. That is your turn, however. Uh, all right, Scanlan, you're up. Uh, I read my scroll of spirit guardians. Uh, spirit, spirit guardians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looked at Laura. Uh, and I, I call them forth to protect us in this moment. Hakuna <laughs> Makoides. Hakuna Matata. Korum Satchesti. I don't know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Well, they attack bad things around me, and they don't like bad things. So I thought maybe that would be good. <laughs> you know, when I got here, Spirit Liam was reading his say. players' hammer. Spirit handbook. Guardians. <laughs> the thing saying. I bought from Gilmore. Right? Didn't I buy that scroll of Spirit Guardians? Yeah, you did. Oh my god, I'm they, having they a They attack, attack anything evil within within 15 feet of me. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, necrotic damage. There you go, Spear Guardians, yes. So you call forth Spears Protect You, Thornetus, and 15 people. The duration, for 10 minutes. Uh, what's your... Uh, your alignment is... Good? Good, yeah. So you would have... Good-ish. <laughs> sort of like devious good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's what you do. You actually use this to create these guardians. And I mean, this spell hasn't been used either. Uh, at, to a distance of 15 feet, so you have to choose things I, within 15 feet of you. So you have these two right here. That are... they're, they're both within 15 feet of me, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so these guys, their speed is halved, and when when they take their turn, they get 3d8 damage. Yep. Let's see. 
It's a very confusing yeah. When spell. they move within 15 feet of you, their speed is halved, and uh, at the start, or when they enter the area, they make a wisdom saving throw or take radiant damage. Is that now or when they move? Uh, that'll be at the end of their turn. Yeah, or... radiant damage. Radiant damage. That's, that's awesome. Really, that's really yeah, good. I know, I know. Okay. You, you, made, you made a good call. Nice, dude. Uh, All yeah. right. Okay. Uh, uh, do I get a bonus action? Uh, you get a bonus action, yes. Okay. Uh, 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 who's, uh, who's, not, who's not undead right now? You? I've already inspired you once. Sure, I'll, I'll inspire you again. <laughs> Um, uh, I got another, I'll just, uh, this time I'll just go. I feel really inspired. Take the the lamest D10 you've ever (laughs) seen. This harmonica is not your favorite instrument. (laughs) Alrighty. Great. Oh, God. Uh, That brings us to Keyleth's turn. Now. There's my scroll. Should I just squeak? Maybe. You don't know. Yeah, Shut up. So it turns towards Scanlan, having cast that, and you go ahead and make a staff attack against him. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I just, I do a little doo wop. Ba-doom, doom, 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 ba-doom, doom. And that's my uh, uh, my cutting words to try to distract her from her okay. attack. Okay. Go for it. I so rolled a 19. Do I, do I roll now? Oh uh, yeah, you roll a d10 and detract that from her attack. I rolled a 19, okay. so just roll. Two. So it's a 17. Which What's your AC? you, right? I have a 17 armor Oh class. no! Oh, <laughs> oh wait. Cutting words is a bitch. Sorry, No, spelling. that's a 10. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So, it's not uh, a lot of damage, I promise. Oh, see, even better. Uh, four damage. Oh, that's I shouldn't have even wasted it. It's ow. <laughs> this is just your little staff. Pop. <laughs> You're adorable. I'm still Kira. doing my granny routine. <laughs> okay, now it has to make a wisdom saving throw, uh, which it succeeds in. So it uh, still takes half as much damage. So roll three d eight. Oh me? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Of course I will. I will do that right now. With these D8 that I have. Take that one too. 12. Okay. Let's see that. 12 damage was supposed to run that. That's Already. Fine. I think I lent it to you. So you so this burst of radiant energy kind of burns around her. You take 12 points of radiant damage. Um that brings us to 12 points. Yep. So that's one, two, three, four, seven, uh, so Vex, you're up. I need to work on my spirit. Right. Um, see Grog turn to you with this like wicked grin and his face just glowing a pale whitish blue as he brings the hammer up in the air. Oh god. Um wait, okay, I can't see where he's Am I like close by him? You are gonna... You're right next to him. I'm right next to him. You're right there. Oh no. I um back away from him. He's gonna get an attack on me. Yep. But I'm really needed to put some distance. Making an attack there. opportunity. Wait, wait, can I? Okay, that's good. Uh, 13. You don't hit me! With the uh, hammer hits the side of the stonework, cracking it a little. Oh, that's my muscle name. <laughs> what are you doing, Bex? Um, oh, I'm gonna watch have the built-ins. Trinket, um, can I, are they lined up? Is he lined up with anybody? <laughs> Trinket? Yeah. Uh, just Keyleth right now. Damn. You can't. Cannonball through to Grog and Keyleth? Uh, you can, but it'll get Scanlan as well. Can you dodge Scanlan? We'll see. Uh. Let's do this. I always love that bear. <laughs> <laughs> right, you deserve it. He's doing it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Say Trinket backs up a little bit to get enough <laughs> room on it. Uh, Keyleth, oh. swing and tack. Oh, for yeah. to Trinket? Opportun- yeah. opportun- Trinket has to get enough distance to actually build up momentum. Ooh, I think that hits 20 total? 20 total is exactly the AC. Scored okay. roll damage from Trinket. It's okay, it's not a lot. Ooh, nine? Uh, okay. Trinket takes nine points of bludgeoning damage from the staff, however, oh, Trinket. Oh, halved? Uh, right, yeah, because it's bludgeoning, so five points. Um, Trinket then rolls for <laughs> roll attacks on uh, Grog, uh, Scanlan, and Keyleth. Trinket bowling. I should have. Oh, well, okay. 
Um, uh, so 8 plus 16 is 24. Um, for who? Uh, for so Keyleth, Scanlan, and Grog? Okay, so Keyleth is 24. Hits. Okay. Scanlan is 18. Hits. Hits. And Grog is 18. Misses. No, oh, go, sorry, Grog is 20. Hits. <laughs> Three hit? Yeah. All right, so no tax opportunity against Trinket. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. And, just, and everyone takes that damage. I don't know what to roll for cannonball damage because I've oh, never oh, actually oh, oh. gotten. I know, I have hit. this. It is uh, 2d6. 2d6. Plus four. Okay. Bum, 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 for each person? Bum, bum. Yep. Oh, okay. So, um, ten. 10 for Keyleth. 10 points splashing damage. <laughs> uh, 7 plus 4 is 11 for Scanlan. Okay. Uh, less for Grog. Um, for eight. 8. 8 points damage to Grog. Alrighty. But while he's doing. I don't get in. I don't get to shoot an arrow. Guess I do. I get to shoot an arrow. Honestly, you do. Yeah. Yep. So, I'm going to shoot an arrow as Trinket is hitting Grog. Okay. Oh god, it leaked a little. Um, 14 doesn't hit him. Nope. It just hits the shoulder, gleams off, carves a little wound across <laughs> his chest, but not enough to do any damage. <laughs> uh, ends your turn. Grog. And now Gr Trinket is close to me then. Does he go through them and get the uh, Trinket, to do the line slams into Grog at the end of it, so Trinket's okay. now between the three of them. Oh shit. So, Grog. As a ghost, you just got shot and slammed by a uh, bear. I want you to go ahead and roll, uh, roll 1d20. Oh, wait, he's gonna see if you rage. Mm. Uh. 15. 15, your attention goes to Vex as opposed to Trinket. Um, you move out of the way. Rage. And he takes 3d8. <gasps> That's true. So, uh, eight plus nine, seventeen. Well, he has to make a. Uh, oh. Other creatures make a wisdom save. Fail. So yeah, it takes three d eight. Yep. Oh god. Seventeen. I've never been in like. Seventeen to hit. Ooh. No, I just hit you with seventeen points of damage. Okay. All right. Uh, you're feeling the ghostly form. You take the damage as well, but so does the uh, the spirit. <clears throat> the form inside is. You're feeling this dissipation. Ooh. Um. Keep All right, so you make your two attacks against Vex. Shit. Oh, that's not that's not awesome. That's uh, seventeen. Doesn't hit. <laughs> that does twenty-four. Fuck. Yeah, it's good. Roll damage against Vex. The first hammer swing. You're like ready <gasps> for it. Swing, <laughs> swing backward. It goes long. Grog, grog, no, no, no. Uh, uh, twenty on the first. Twenty points of damage. <laughs> The first one didn't you, hit, did it? You, the first one didn't hit, so you only get the 20. Oh, just the 20. Just 20, so wham, as the first one misses, you pull back, St. Grog's in to try and stop him, but the hammer still slams you into the side. You don't have time to move out of the way, and it just pushes you up against the wall. Oh. You land on your feet, oh. and you can feel like the oh. pulsing of the blood broken beneath the skin. Oh. Uh, that ends uh, Grog's go. Percy, you're up. Um, hi, I'm, I saw what just happened, right? Yeah. I'm going to try and fix my gun. Go for it. It fixes. All righty. Um, are you better? Good, then let's deal with this. I'm going to start diving around the columns just to get away from the wraith. Oh my God. Around here? Yeah, because I don't have a shot this round. Okay. So you move around that way. Yeah. Cool. All right. That ends your turn. That ends my turn. Uh, it's now their turn. They're just doing their turns there. This one. Uh, currently loses interest in you, and drifts. It's coming for two, you, Percy. Three, four, five, six. Damn it! Seven, eight. It just kind of passes through the stone. <sighs> um, moves through and appears on the other side. I need you to go ahead and make a charisma saving throw. Um, I have advantage on charisma saving throws right now. Do I not? Oh From yeah, because she casts. She she Not wasn't. There anymore, sorry. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she she dropped it when she picked up uh, the concentration spell, okay. rasping vine. Was... Roll high, roll high, golden snitch. No Snitch. worries. That was ability checks, not saving throw. Oh, okay. never mind. Then. That's okay. Uh, all right. What's my Christmas saving? Oh boy. No. I rolled a natural one. You did this. This is the third natural one. You touched it. Sheila. That's why I'm superstitious about my dice. I touched it. I'm moving you also back touched to mine, and I rolled a three. <laughs> come back, I'll come back to you next and after Thanksgiving, baby. 
And with Sorry. that, it goes dark, and the spiritual intent takes over your body. All you can feel is you're, you feel like you're being puppeted and you have no control over yourself, like you're hidden, captured within your own form. Uh, all right, that ends his turn. Vax, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> um. You still feel like kind of the warmth, the residual warmth in your glove, kind of pulsing. All right. Uh, I'm going to click my boots together. I'm going to move towards him. I'm going to take towards Percy. Towards Percy. Shit. I'm going to take a, a keen dagger and stick it into his gut, and then I'm going to take the glove with the symbol of Saren Ray and punch him in the nose. Okay. <laughs> So roll for the... I like that you're violent instead of just going healing hand. Yeah, yeah. You go, Fuck you. Yeah. I just say this is from this is, this is Percy beating up Percy right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally true. Yeah, you're being attacked and stabbed by yourself. It's weird. Funny for the dagger. Okay. I'm not reading too much into this. <laughs> that hits. Seven. So punch is just strength modifier, right? This is for not a metaphor. Seventeen. For the punch. All right. So. uh... You go ahead and roll damage for the dagger. Yeah. So you're, what's your AC? 18. 18, okay. Nine. Nine, take nine points of piercing damage as the dagger stabs into your stomach as you swing to haul the punch off the body <laughs> out of the way. Take um, the punch. All right, that ends your turn. Wait, I only, how far did I go? Uh, you were there, so it was... Uh, 15 feet. I'm going to spring back and run as far as I can in the other direction, around the corner towards okay. the rest. Okay. All right. That brings us to Scanlan. Oh. Uh, I, I, I walk between Grog and Keyleth, or hop between Grog and Keyleth, okay. maintaining my 15 foot distance. Okay. Even, uh, even more between. There? Yeah, and I'll thunder wave them both. <laughs> oh, oh no, and I hit Trinket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, constitution saving throw from uh, uh, Grog and Keyleth and Trinket. Okay. Did you roll something? Yeah. What'd you roll? 12. <laughs> Grog? I rolled an 18. Yeah. What's your DC? 19. All right, so roll damage, and uh, what's Trinket's? I have a constitution saving throw of 8. Oh, 26. Okay, so you take half damage. Uh, trinket rolled an 11. Okay. Uh, eight points of damage. Okay, so you take eight points of damage, Grog takes four, Trinket takes eight. Uh, are we trying to kill our friends here? Or? Yeah, get, get us. Get them unconscious so they us. come out. But then if they're unconscious, the ghoses come out, yeah, then and they come then they could possess you. us. I don't know what right. we it's great. But they're also, they're taking your radiant damage. All right, Keyleth, doing, you know, top, oh. of the, top of the turn, uh, roll, roll uh, oh. Do I, I get I, radiant I, damage from that? No, push? no, you just get, no. So you take 3d8 points of radiant damage. Oh, I, oh, I do. From the spirit guide. Yes. The spirit guardians. Um, oh, and I'll also inspire Vax. Uh, uh, rip out someone's tongue and I'll know you. Kill someone dead and I'll show you got those moves with dagger. You got those moves with dagger. You got those moves like dagger. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 13. Okay. Alright. So 13 points of radiant damage uh, to you and to. Okay. 62 hit points. All right, Scanlon, that's your turn. Keyleth. Yep. You uh, turn around as you see Vax rush up, a look of fear and intensity in his face. You see her turn around with this twisted grin on her face, and she brings your staff up and swings it towards your head. Go ahead and roll an attack. <gasps> Baseball. Staff, uh, no. Um, uh, 17. What's your AC? Uh, it is 18. 18. As she swings, you duck, and her staff poof, smacks, smacks against the stone wall of the mausoleum. Uh, that ends your turn, uh, bringing us to Vex. And I'm in a fight with Grog. Correct. Okay. <laughs> this is totally oh, wait. awesome. 
What? Cass. She She's not turned. doing shit. She's not doing, She's doing anything. Shit? I forgot I'd heard of the initiative. That's my own fault. I just thought she was being a bitch. <laughs> well, I'll give her a couple rounds here in a second. Anyway, finish up. Uh, Trinket runs forward and tries to uh, pull Grog's focus so that I can back away. <laughs> okay. So Trinket. He tries to like grapple him or something. Can he do anything to make him Grog not be able to attack me if I run away? Uh, Can he try to like knock him down or something? Like grapple? jump up on his back and put and knock him over. Also make a, go use an action to make a trip attack. Sure, why not? Which, okay. would, which would be a uh, roll an athletics check. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Imagine even Bear doing mild calisthenics. Yes. Definitely gonna be great. An athletics check for me? Yeah, or for, no, trinket? for, for trinket. Okay. Uh, 12. Uh, make a strength saving throw, Rod. Oh, so well. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's a 26. <laughs> yeah, Trinket rushes over and tries to knock you off the feet, and you just, <laughs> no effect. Should be rolling, um, so. You still have a bonus action in your movement if you want to. Um, I guess I'm going to try to roll out of the way. I'm going to try to duck down and roll out of the way to make him n- n- less likely to hit me. <laughs> yeah, the old less likely trick. Yeah. <laughs> make an aromatics check. Okay. Oh, my dice suck tonight. You're inspired. You guys, you're inspired. You're inspired. I'm inspired. You're inspired. sucking up all the good energy. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, on, acrobatics. Uh, twenty-eight. Ooh. Twenty-eight. Uh, Grog, go ahead and roll an attack with disadvantage. Just the hell of it. Uh, twenty-three. Okay, roll damage against uh, Mex as she pulls away from you. <laughs> the first one was a natural 20. Oh. Oh, You're glad it was disadvantage. Uh, 21. Basically, oh. 21 points of uh, bludgeoning damage as oh. you pull away and Grog whacked! Uh, backhands you with his hammer. Uh, now you can take your bonus action if you want to. Damn it. God damn it. As my bonus action, I'm going to cast. Um, Kill Goliath. <laughs> Yeah, right? Uh, I don't want to use any of my shit. Can you conjure a keg of beer? Ooh, oh, that no, would distract you. But that that's a really Can good you idea. Can just chuck a beer at um, For my bonus action, I'm going to go, um, help! <laughs> you can use your bonus action to throw me the gun. Oh, <laughs> no! All right, that ends your turn. <laughs> no! Okay. Uh, Cassandra is going to rush up angrily with her short sword out. Um, oh, good job yelling help. Rushing up behind Grog. She's going to make sure I th- make a strike. Uh, that is going to be 18, what's your armor class? Uh, 19. 19. She goes to strike and just woof, whiffs, and unfortunately, she's going to attack with her uh, a dagger she pulls out in her offhand. Uh, rolls a three, yeah. She's uh, I'm giving her a second round because I missed the one round. She's going to angrily pull up again. And, Attempt to strike with both a second time. That will be a 20. That hits. Alrighty. Uh, because Trinket is evasion, she gets sneak attack damage. Yay! Oh, she's a rogue. Yeah. That's eight. <laughs> mm. No. Oh, he's totally going to. So you take uh, 27 points of piercing damage. Okay. Well, the slashing damage from the short sword. Uh, and then the offhand attack is or another three. You're gonna miss. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. That brings us to wow. Grog. So. Go ahead and roll another d20. Eleven. Eleven. Your attention switches to Cassandra. Mm. Go ahead and roll two attacks. Do I get my? My radiant damage on him? Oh, that's good. The top of his turn, uh, you do, yeah. Uh, actually, actually, before that happens, go ahead and roll radiant damage. Ooh. 21. 21 points? With that, the as you're reeling up your hammer to strike Cassandra, a burst of radiant energy disintegrates the ghostly presence within your body, and you find your mind come to you as you're about to go into a downswing to smash Cassandra's head in, oh. and you catch yourself. <gasps> Do it anyway, Grog! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't, 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 don't. She's you one of us, she's one of ours. You have your turn now. Oh, I have my turn? Yes. Uh, 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 uh. 
Krog, I know you don't know what's going on right now, but kill Keyleth. <laughs> okay. Uh, I turn and walk over to Keyleth. <laughs> over Cassandra. Or Cass. Oh, Just thank kick you. her over as And I'm going to swing my hammer in the middle of your chest. Go for it. <laughs> oh, she's scary. Yeah. Oh, she's so I'm cute. Swinging this fucking she's like a little kitty. Uh, uh, little 15. Kitty cat. What's your AC, Keyleth? Uh, 18. <laughs> <laughs> she ducks out of the way with this preternatural speed. And one. Uh, oh wow, 16. <laughs> Oof. Oh, Keyleth's yeah. ghostly form is just too fast for you. The confusion of the whole you know, sequence caused you to not be able to think straight in the moment, and you just miss twice. Uh, that ends your turn, Grog. Percy. Um, oh right, Percy's still. Yep. Um, Jesus, and he's got guns. Turn. Your gun was just fixed, correct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Did he use the gun or the sword in, in phantom mode? Phantom you mode. just finished fixing this, and you have a gun before you. It's going to use it. Okay. Um, go ahead and make three attacks against Vex. Vex, Vex I mean Vex. I'm going to use my. I'm going to use this die because it's been us. failing. Yeah, I touched it. Use the one that I touched. Um, that's. I think that's. Um, uh, Twelve. Uh, that's. Uh, uh, I. I can't talk. Twenty-one. Oh, that hits. But what's applicable? Uncanny dodge or evasion for a gunshot? Uh, whatever reduces the damage half. It's not a saving throw, so it would be, it would be, which one reduces the damage by half? Uh, that's uncanny dodge. Then it'd be uncanny dodge. All right, All right so uh, attack two more times. Twenty-one. Same thing. Yes. And and twenty-six. All right, so roll damage three times. The first one is half. Uh, wow. Right. Sucks. Um. Thirteen. <laughs> so you take seven damage. Fuck me. Fifteen. Okay, I'm rolling 15, really good. Fifteen piercing damage. And eleven. Okay. We are so strong. We should never fight ourselves. <laughs> All right. Uh, that ends Percy's turn. There. Uh, <laughs> you're so like you're Vax, to you're up. Am I able to slide around Keyleth closer to you into that little alcove, or am I too pressed against the wall? Uh, no, the other way, around her. Or am uh, I you wouldn't be able to. Never mind. Currently, she's then, an enemy, so you can't move past okay, her. Okay, so I could make you roll an acrobatics check if you no, want it. That's but, all right. I flip the daggers over, and I start to wail on the back of Keyleth's head. Okay. Almost the daggers. Wow. Kiss or kill. Kiss or kill. <laughs> Eighteen. Are you doing sneak attack on this? Uh, yeah. She's adjacent to Grog, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 18, 18 hits. 18 on the first. Second one is just, uh, uh, where is it? 20, 20, shit. Hits. No. They both hit. Okay. So gun roll damage then, are both. And then 32 on the last. Oh, that's right, yeah, so three hits. Yeah. Do a sneak attack. Uh, super, super, super. Sneak attack, he's gonna take me down. Three. Uh, plus seven is 10. And the 10 gets doubled. Or everything. Dice rolls get doubled. 10, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 50. 50? 50 for the first hit. <laughs> She's still alive. Was it doubled because you rolled a critical? Sneak, Sneak attack. Sneak attack, you just rolled the dice. And then, oh. uh, no, 25. And 25, yeah, I was like, no, because. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you no uh, plus 9, plus 9. Okay, so 25 plus 18. 38. Uh, 38. Uh, okay. Um, so 18 is uh, 43. 43? Yep. Uh, what was I just now? 62. 62. 62. 19. So 19 hit points. And I'm gonna use my. I don't care. I'm gonna. I'm gonna slide around Grog. Okay. Uh, to the side towards Scanlan. Right there. Yeah. Okay. What's up, brother? Mm. Ouch. Right. <laughs> Ends your turn. Uh, Scanlan, you're up. I'm up again? Yep. I, like I just went. Um, <clears throat> all right. We're trying to kill our friends, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, I'm going to blast. Thank you for moving, Vax. I'm going to blast them both with lightning, a straight shot through 100 feet. Uh, through. I, I can. I'll. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what do I do? 8d6? Uh, uh, 8d6, and I need Keyleth and Percy to both make uh, dexterity saving throws. It's just a two of X, and I actually have um, disadvantage on dexterity stuff because of corruption. 
Oh, well, 15, um, 20 for me. 21. You both take half damage. So. 24. So you both take 12 points of lightning damage. The bolt strikes through, hitting both of you in the chest, but you both manage to pull out of the way just in time to reduce the impact of the spell. Uh, and then I'll, uh, I will cast, uh, I'll just as a bonus action do a little healing word on Vex, right? You're injured badly, right? I mean, not badly, but... Oh, uh, well then, first, first, first. go. To my hand. Oh, Sorry. Are you injured badly? Would I know that? Mm, you could glance over and look at him as he pulls up to you and see him like, <gasps> I've got gunshots in my back. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll healing word. Yeah, go ahead and roll the healing points for that. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, it's right here. Uh, four, D4 plus five. That's it? So lame. Uh, seven points. All right. Uh, and your turn, Keyleth, the top of your turn, roll 3d8 radiant damage. Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to knock you oh, out. Hopefully. Uh, okay. That's nine already. Yeah, then, I'm down. Uh, Six more is 15. I'm down. Okay. Keyleth falls unconscious to the ground as this blast of radiant energy bursts around her as this uh, you know, spiritual radiant form that's been surrounding the area and stalking the various uh, appointed individuals just slams into her form. As she collapses, the, uh, the ghost is jettisoned from her body uh, and itself is looking like it's been taking the radiant damage and is having a hard time keeping its corporeal form. Um, all right, that... And Keyleth's turn. Keyleth, and you should go ahead and roll a death saving throw. Okay. Nope. Six. You take one death saving throw failure. Okay. All right, Vex, you're up. Um, I see the ghost come out of her. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna uh, shoot it with my uh, blazing bowstring. Okay. Um, 16? Uh, 16 hits. I want a good one. 17. Uh, 25. 25. As you pull back the arrow and you see the flames ignite around the shaft, you release it. It slams into the ghost and you see its form just <laughs> uh, disperse from the impact. The arrow is hitting the wall behind it and shattering against the stone. Awesome. Work. Ghost destroyed. Woo! My second attack, I'm going to attack Percy. Okay. Can I see him? Yep, right over there. All right, I'm going to do it. Uh, 21. 21 hits. <laughs> 16. 16 points of damage to you, Percy. Uh, 16? Yep. Cool. That was also through my blazing bowstring. So you're using both, both blazing bowstring abilities yeah. right now? Okay. So a flaming arrow sticks into the shoulder and you can feel the flames burning into your body. That's another five. That was it. another five burning damage. 21. Okay. 21. There you go. Already, that is still doing fine. Okay. Eat these things. It's now Cass's turn. Cass is having a weird time of the whole process of seeing a bunch of herself and her brothers like stabbing <laughs> each other and getting possessed. How do we even know who's who? Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting, <laughs> yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Thank you for that. <laughs> I was almost going there. <laughs> she's right there, and she kind of brings herself around the way. She's unable to do any actions, and she just kind of sees another of her brothers like possessed, but clutching the gun in the hand, and kind of is like. Is stealing her blade for the moment and doesn't do anything for their turn. Grog, you're up. I <sighs> see, and I run towards. The <sighs> I swear it's so. I swear it's so. <laughs> Twenty-five. Is no one that's Sam Raimi fan. Never mind. That was Donald. Uh, oh, yeah. Eighteen. Just the mom in the bit. What's your class? Eighteen. Yep. Hits. Damage on both. <clears throat> Uh, 17 for the first one. 19 for the second one. Okay, so it's 18, it's 36 points of damage. 36 points of damage. Oof. <laughs> You're thrown up against the wall and almost pushed over off your feet from the sheer... Like, magic damage, damage. it has to be magic damage, so... Well, it was, it's a magic warhammer. Oh, okay, so it's taking damage too, that's good. Maybe. Well, be spells or something. Yeah, there was fire. Oh, damage. really? It's yeah. Not just no. fire. I don't know. It seems that the radiant damage from the uh, the guardian, the spirit guardian spell you're doing has been doing the bulk of damage to them, 
Oh, Whether shit. they're inside the form, most everything else is just going straight to the individual that's killed. Oh, shit. Oh. We've yeah. just been killing our friends for no reason. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get let's, out uh, let's pass our... Uh, <laughs> Hold our round. Yeah. Uh, Percy, you have three more shots of this gun, two of which oh, are magical. Shit. I do. So you pull up the gun, uh, you take a step back, uh, Does he get an attack of opportunity? Do. Take an opportunity oh, against uh, Percy. If you want to take it. Come on, take, take it. Him down. Oh no! That's a natural 20. Yes! <laughs> All right, He's roll out. damage. There's, yeah. So I, that's actually the first do time it. I've critted on this show. To, with a Which, thing. by the way, you get additional dice did, because... Additional damage, yeah. Or additional. The first time you've critically hit on this show? I think so, because I've it's never me. doubled my dice. No. Oh no, does that mean he's That's absurd. Up? I know. Because he's on the 14. opposite side of... 14, I'm already out. Wait, but no, roll damage, we want to know what it is. Yeah, go ahead, but I'm out. Uh, 18. So, what was the first one? 18 and... You said 14. 14. Okay. You are out. <laughs> Percy falls to the ground unconscious. The spear to shit us out the side. That ends your turn entirely. You get to roll. Uh, does he... Oh, really? The ghost is going to shift over... It no, it does, it does not get its possession nope. back. It so rushes. It's, uh, it it's now standing it over. It was just a crit. It wasn't hit twice. But it okay. wasn't when he was down. Okay. Uh, oh, Percy, I need you to make a death saving throw, by the way. Yay! Okay. Uh, the ghost gets pushed out of the body. Uh, with you on the ground and its position not returned, it reaches down and strikes at you with its withering touch. Oh, for the love of. Uh, with its withering touch, what the. Uh, you take two death saving throw losses. Whoa! Oh, you, you roll a crit? Well, it's an auto crit because he's unconscious. Oh, jeez. Uh, already... Oh, wait, you passed your first one. I passed my first one. Yes, you so did. you have two failures on you? I have two oh, failures and one success. Please. Oh, my so God. So, guys, guys. Heal him. Guys, heal me. Heal me Not now. Sure. Uh, I start sprinting around that open hallway near Cassandra. I stop by Cassandra and dagger, dagger, dagger. Do it. First one is uh, 30. Second one is a 15, third is a 28. All right, all three hit. Uh, they all hit? They all okay, hit. So we're good, I don't need it yet. 10 plus uh, is 7 is 17, plus 10, 27 total. 27 dice, a damage total? All magic. All righty, so all daggers strike through its form. You see it tearing through its, its ethereal physicality, but it's still holding its form together. Uh, it looks damaged, but it's not. It's still holding its form on this plane. Uh, Scanlan, you're up. I vault over who, Keyleth. Wait, 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 wait. Well, this one is... I, I ran like, what, 20 feet, 30 feet? Uh, you were here, so... Uh, 35. 35? Can I run the west, rest of the way? The rest of the way? The west of the way, through it, in front of Percy. Yeah. Right there, you can, yeah? Yeah, that's what I want to do. All right. I vault over Keyleth's body, using maybe like the right part of her butt cheek to like launch off of. <laughs> Grab a little feel as I go. Uh, like a creepy try gnome. To, uh, try to get within 15 feet of the thing. Okay. Um, and uh, as my first thing, I will, uh, I will healing word, uh, Mr. Uh, okay. Mr. Talison Jaffe. Percival, Who? Dorolo, De Wanam, Demonico, De, De Chico. It's delightful. <laughs> it's the lovely. Uh, okay. Uh, at um, you can tell just at a normal level. So what a swell night uh, this so is that's for Roland. Nine points. Nine. So points. Percy, you'll get points. Your death saving throws are fine. Nine. Nine points. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 um, oh. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> you burn another fucking thing on this guy. Uh, you're, you're, you're. you're Aura thingy with 15 feet should do it. Well, I know, but that's that's when he moves, not when I move. So I will I will mock him. I will say, <laughs> you're so you're not even corporeal. You don't you have no substance. You are a, a you're a nothing. You're a nobody. You won't amount to nothing in this world. There. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're a nothing. You're a nobody. Uh, what's the DC on that? 
Uh, back 19. then, Jersey, back in uh, mate. Fails at save. Yes. Go ahead and roll 3d4. Let's get it. Kill it. Six. How do you want to do that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not mocking. laughs> I would like it to cry. That's all. <laughs> As you're shouting this, you can see its ghostly form, its face suddenly be- shifts into a face of a person. You are nothing it in life, and now you're nothing in death! It calls its memories. You can see its physical form become that of uh, a young adult wearing robes that hold the symbol of the Dorolo crest. You see it look at its hands, and you see it look at you, and look at Percy on the ground unconscious. Oh. And it just moans out in horror Morty. as it suddenly dissipates. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, wait, no, oh, I didn't so mean it. Oh. Which one of my ancestors did, <laughs> did you, you just, just shame? shame to death? <laughs> Again. The one who possessed you. Okay, fair. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh. So, uh, you're going to say it, aren't you? I double back to Keyleth and start trying to administer some sort of a. I am dead. Up. Medicine check, is that? Uh, you can make a medicine check to try and stabilize her, yeah. 18. 18, yeah. You you stabilize the bleeding. She's no longer making that saving throw. She is still unconscious. But you all kind of reconvene. Oh. Take a breath. Oh, wait, is Keyleth alive? Nope. Oh, Jesus, Keyleth, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's. I'm stabilized, she but needs still help. She needs help. Let's she needs help. pull right. ourselves together. I will uh, sing a song of rest, uh, which will just give us all 1d8 for everybody. For hit dice spent, or for just for the rest? Uh, I don't know. It's, it just says one d8. It's my song of rest. Yeah, song of rest, and make sure that we only got a lot of works. health potions. You do? Yeah. That's good. I've got three. Would you like one? Probably. I mean, but if we take a short rest. Yeah, we're gonna... At the end of your short rest, everyone gains an additional one d8. It's nice. It doesn't hurt. So I, I come to consciousness. You by slowly Stanley come to consciousness. Singing. You're down with more HP. Yeah, you know me. You're down with more <laughs> HP. Yeah, you know That's me. That's nice. Uh, what? Yeah, we can roll some hit dice. You guys dice. take take a short rest here to roll some hit dice. Get your uh, oh man. So wait, how much did you heal us, Scanlan? Just one extra D8. Which do I roll that or do they? Everyone rolls it on their own. It's fine. Okay, on their own. Ten. Holy bejesus, guys. That was insane. Can we never do that again? Well, we, we're about to, I think. It feels like making camp. Making camp? Yes. I don't think we, have, we don't have time to make ghosts. camp. We have to continue on. I'm exhausted. We'll heal, but I think we need to continue We down. need to keep going. Sound of looks yes. about the rest of you who are still kind of seeing a, a group of her self and her brothers. And she shakes her head for a second. We can rest a moment, but I, I don't think we can stay here much longer. The more time we spend here, the more chance they have of returning. And if they get the jump on us, we're done. Let's go. We need to press on. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Let's continue. Yep. Yeah. Into the tunnel. Into the dark. She sheaths her sword and her dagger. <sighs> Let's do this. As you all climb into the beginning of the excavation tunnel leading to the south, slowly making your way towards oh, the Sorry. tunnel sequence. Percival, any point in looting? Don't okay. loot yeah, sorry, my sorry, family's sorry, sorry, crypt. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Forget I mentioned it. Let's go, let's go, let's go kick some ass. Making your way towards the tunnels beneath the city of Whitestone towards whatever this ziggurat construction project has been. We will pick this up the week after Thanksgiving. Oh man, um, we're taking a whole week off from yeah, this. Yeah, we went a little late tonight to try and give a little extra since we're not gonna be here next week. Um, but uh, that's it for the evening. <laughs> I was like gonna ask if my ghost. No, by we each need, other. We really we need, need a cleric. There were some really bad, bad, everyone rolled poorly on those. <laughs> Saving throws, that suck. Um, oh, yes. Holy oh, man, shit. Right. Giveaways. So, we got to do a giveaway. So, Yay. I am giveaway. opening the floodgates. Yes, yes, come on. Anybody that's Welcome around. all! The whole time. This. Use Twitch. 
Holy cow. She might need a, a silver burn, like a cure wounds or something. I'm I'm not at 100, but I'm okay. I'm... I burned almost all of my hit dice. Bring me back up. <laughs> Ashley is getting home right now in case we need her. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Thank you. Are we? Are we? Can she Are just we? come in for 30 seconds and heal us? <laughs> it doesn't work oh, that way. I know. I was Guys, I got I got a little bit of a connection. I just, guess good no. just oh. oh, I'm gone. That's gone. <laughs> Uh, we also got up to 6,000 total so far raised. Um, oh, wow, that's great. Incredible. So we will continue that throughout the weekend, uh, all the way up till Monday. Thank you all so much for helping out. Holy uh, cow. You're, you're helping out a lot of wonderful people do a lot of amazing things in places that need it. So the floodgates are open. We're going to let that build up for a little bit and then yeah, do yeah. the giveaway. Oh, chat room explode. Right? It's kind of fun. Oh shoot, that's true. The next episode is Christmas as well, isn't it? No. No. Is it not? There's one before it? No, no, no. There's another one before. Are you sure? No. No, we're, no, we're not we're sure doing at all. A, we're sure going Because we're doing um, the Christmas, Christmas Christmas a little bit earlier. So we're just going to do the next one before we go on Christmas break, right? Uh, no, the third is the next Christmas. Uh, because our 17th, our last show, is also the opening night of the new Star Wars movie. Oh, shit. Um, we can't go late that night because everyone's going to be gone. Oh. So, yeah, so we can't do Christmas next week. No, no, well, next week's Thanksgiving. I mean, no, 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 I mean, but on and the week, and, we, and we've already told everyone the first week of the month is... So the Christmas Christmas. Christmas crit, the Christmas Christmas is going to be the third. It's going to be the third. The December third. 3rd? Yes. Yeah. So that will be, okay. we'll just save, yeah, that will be the... the, the, the Math is hard, guys. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. Welcome it's to our late, late night meetings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pulling a winner. All right, we got a winner coming in. We got, can't we got. we just do it the second week because it's going to be a long episode. We'll have to cut it. Super That's kind of what short. I'm thinking. Maybe can we, we move it to, to the, make the, it the, the second week in December? The tenth. Yeah. The tenth. Yeah. Christmas, the tenth. Christmas, yeah. Christmas, the tenth. Christmas, yeah. Christmas yeah. is going to be the tenth. Before we officially say that, let me check the schedule because we've already told everyone the first week. So before we say that officially, okay. let me check the it's schedule and make really sure that's hard okay. It's going to be really to do it on the third. I'm okay. leaving the studio. So we don't say that officially. Road trip. Aishu Maker is the winner. Aishu Maker, congratulations. So we're sending you a message right now. Just send back with your address. We'll send you all sorts of great shit. Uh, tune That's in awesome. tomorrow, guys, for group hug. Uh, Hector is bringing a couple comedian friends of his, and they are playing all of the Jessica Jones alias characters tomorrow. Um, nice. That's pretty cool. And nobody wanted to play Purple Man. <laughs> Understandably like, so. Right. It's like Purple Man. character in the, I know, in the Marvel like, universe. Oh god, he how do we do this? He's the creepiest creep. It's like whoever plays him has to know you're gonna get your ass kicked. That's that's Tenet, right? That's yeah. Tenant. That's oh. also I, who I dressed up at, at oh, the, I remember. the superhero party. Oh, I remember. I painted my, my face you did purple myself man? purple. He did. There's a great. Why would you do that? There's an amazing photo of a friend of ours dressed as Luke Cage just beating the shit out of me. It's, yeah. it's great. Good. He also sang Gogo Go Bordello's Start, Start Wearing, wearing purple. purple because we had yeah. karaoke as yeah, purple. It was good. It was good. It was, it was, good. It was, it was, it was creepy. I'm just, I'm just excited to see all the all the Doctor Who Tenant fans watch the series for Tenant and then be like. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. No, no bueno. No it's just, bueno. It's just going to no be bueno. bad. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, that's it for tonight, guys. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Wow. Uh, Thank you. We'll for see you in two weeks. Next episode. See you guys in two weeks. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Although, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. There, will be, there will still be a new comic next week to hold oh, you guys yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. And, yes. and playlists. Guess whose playlist is next? Oh, is it mine? <laughs> You're like the last one. Right? Oh, I'm the Thanksgiving playlist. You're the Thanksgiving playlist. Does the DM get a playlist? I get one. He yeah. does. But oh he'll yeah. Go last as you always go last. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>